Aloha! This is Pipeline Audio with a tutorial on getting started in Reaper. This lesson introduces the Reaper Track Effects Chain system. First, let's insert a new track. Click the Effects button to open the Track Effects Chain. Click Add and the Add New Effects window pops up. Plugins are divided into All Plugins, DX, DXI, VST, VSTI, and the included JS effects and instruments. To add an effect, you can click a folder, then browse to the plugin you want, or type part of the name in the file list. Here I'm looking for Regate, and as I type in the characters, you will see the list start to narrow down. Double click on the effect to add it. To add multiple plugins at once, use Control click or Shift click standard Windows selections until you have chosen all the plugins you want then click OK. The Add New Effects window will now close and you'll see your chosen plugins in the effects chain. Let's go back to the Add New Effects window for a second. Notice the folder My Folders. This is where you can organize your plugins in a way more suitable to your manner of working. Simply right click My Folders and choose Create New Folder. A window pops up and allows you to give your new folder a name. I'm going to add a folder for my UAD1 plugins. Type in the name, click OK, and it returns to the Add New Effects window, showing your new folder underneath My Folders. Go back to any of the folders under All Plugins, browse the plugins to include in your new folder, and Shift Select or Control Select all the plugins you want. I'm going to select all my UAD1 plugins. Now, drag and drop the selected plugins into the new folder. If you missed a few, go back to the All Plugins folder and drag and drop them in again. If you added a plugin you don't want, right click it and choose Remove from Folder or just select it and hit the Delete key. Note that these plugins are not removed from the All Plugins folder. Also notice that right clicking a plugin gives you a quick way to move effects between folders. Select the plugin and hit F2 or right click on a plugin and choose Rename Effects if you would like to change the plugin's name. This can be handy depending on the naming convention used by that particular plugin's manufacturer. Rename and organize your plugins to your heart's content. In case you would like to delete one of the folders you created, just right click it and choose Remove Folder. Now I'm going to add some plugins Recomp, Regate, and Reefer. Close the Add New Effects window and return to the Track Effects chain. I have all the plugins I want showing now, but I don't like the order. Simply click a plugin name and drag it to the order you want. Audio hits the top plugin first and the bottom plugin last. I'm going to set Regate first, Recomp second, and Reefer last. Let's say this particular effects chain is what I'd like to see whenever I create a new track. Click the Effects window and choose Save Chain as default for new tracks. Insert a new track and click the Effects button to confirm that this is the way you want it set. As you see here, whenever you create a new track, Reaper will load these plugins by default. Open the effects window again and you will see standard functions to delete any or all plugins. Now let's say I'm working on a bass guitar track. I'm going to remove all effects here and open the add new effects window. I'm going to want regate first, then an instance of recomp for a limiter, then reefer, and finally storm recordings transient designer to handle the groove compression. This plugin, along with some other handy ones, can be found at stormrecordingstudio.co.uk. They've also graciously provided them for free. As with other gifts like this, please email the creator if you like these and let them know your appreciation. It's how this stuff gets built. Alright, back to the program. I'm going to make some initial settings in the plugins here. Now say I'd like to use this chain as a starting point for working on bass guitar tracks. Open the Effects menu and choose Save Effects Chain. Enter a name for your chain, hit Save, and it will be available anytime you need it. An important thing to remember is that Reaper can save your effects chains with whatever settings you had. Even better, the checkbox in front of each plugin is its bypass switch. Put a check in the box for On and no check for Bypass. Even in the many cases when a manufacturer has not included a true bypass switch with this plugin, these bypass states can be fully controlled by Reaper's automation system. You can really load up with potential plugins as long as you keep them in bypass by default. 
This will give you quick access to plugins you might want to experiment with, but without the CPU hit you'd take from leaving them all on. Feel free to go nuts. Let's create a new track to see how this works. You'll see the default chain loaded, but I want to add my new bass effects chain. Open the effects menu and choose remove all effects, or simply select and delete the effects you want out. In the effects menu choose add effects chain, click on the new bass guitar chain, and click open. You'll see the new chain up and ready for use in the state that you last saved it in. Keep saving effects chains whenever you're really happy with the setup and you'll find yourself having an easier time later on getting back to a known starting point. That's about all you need to know for the track effects chain system to get started, so let's get to tracking.